Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leathercraft, and this is the Leather Element. Well, it's Labor Day in Atlanta, and to a lot of us, that means one thing. Dragon Con is here. Now, to me, it means something else, too. Time to make a new suit of armor. But that goes without saying, right? Okay, so we get a lot of questions, a lot of comments on the armor in my shop. So we're going to do this. Let's take a look at a brand new suit. Haven't yet completely assembled this, so we can get a good look at all the pieces and parts. From there, we're going to jump over to my suit, a little bit worn in with all the bells and whistles. From there, let's take a look at all the additional projects that can go with the suit armor. It's almost unending. All right, let's do this. Let's start right here, and we'll look at our cuirass. Very cool. All right. Now we can talk about some armor. I'm going to do my best not to roll here because this could be a 30 minute long leather element. All right, so our cuirass or our breastplate, center of every suit of armor. Everything's simply going to bolt onto this. Legs, arms, cloak, pouches. In fact, our tassets simply bolt on too. Now I'm using a 13 to 15 ounce Weaver Select for the majority of the suit. The backing, I, or the back, the back side, I bumped down to about a 10 to 11 ounce here for a little bit of comfort because this is going to get heavy. In fact, I think I'm at 12 pounds already just right here. Now, our war belts. To me, nothing is more period than two belts. I've got a smaller belt for my pouches and a much larger, thicker belt for my sword belt. Now, here's one big trick. I've got belt loops all the way around because once we get our belts loaded down with our daggers, our swords, our pouches, our mug straps, these are going to get heavy. I don't want these to drift down. So our belt loops, big help to us. On our back, very simple because I'm going to have a cloak over this. And on my edges or on my shoulders, I'm making this for me. So I'm simply going to attach a, a Chicago screw and my pauldrons will hang off of my shoulders comfortably. Again, everything bolts into place. Our design, we've seen this in our last leather element. And my collar, nice light brown with a Saddleback top coat. Is that not a rich, beautiful color? And I wanted to break up this design a little bit, so I've dropped in some color here. A beautiful Angelus purple. I think that's the Prince purple. And again, just bolt on. All right, so we've got a good idea for this. We'll get a pick of the whole thing together. Let's step over and look at our legs. Now, on our legs, same weight, same design, die and top coat. But right here on our spots, I think I have almost 100 spots on the two legs alone. There's that beautiful design. All right, with this, I know I'll keep rolling. All right, so right here, I'm going to connect this to the side of my cuirass. I've got three holes there, so I can move this forward or backwards and up and down. I've got a back plate, a little bit lighter weight there, simply for comfort, and three straps across the back. But isn't that a cool touch? Very nice. Now, this is three-quarter leg. This does not continue down to the ankle for one big reason. I've got a really cool pair of boots, and I want to show those off, so I don't want to cover them, cover them with armor. But the bigger point, I can add all kinds of scales in here to make that knee bend all the way around. But once you get to a full leg, that can bind up on you when you bend down. And though we're not going to battle a long day at a con or a ren fair, we're going to need to bend down some. So that's going to be a big help to you. All right, we've got a good look at those. Let's jump over and look at the arms. Now, for our arms, you know what? We're going to look at one. We've got two, but we're gonna, I can't get them both in the camera shot. All right, so with this, we basically have four different projects here. We've got our arm garter, van brace, counter. This covers our elbow, pauldron, and the vesicue. This will cover our underarm area. Now, with a hide, when you get a 13 to 15 ounce hide, one end may be a little bit heavier. So I always start right here. So this is about a 16, maybe about a 17 ounce armor or leather there. I'll wet form that and then bake that to harden it. Very substantial, but very comfortable. Now, I can absolutely make an articulated elbow, but I just love the look of the tied elbow. Very period to me. Right here, simply a four in one stainless steel chain mail. And then I've added a purple aluminum mail to that. But right here on our arm guard, We've got a lower panel, so that closes comfortably around the arm. And right here on our hand, ample room for straps, but we've also got some thumb protection there. Now, this is the last piece. So let's step over here. We're going to get a good look at this complete. All right, so the suit is complete. In fact, this is the first time I've actually seen it together and on an armor stand. But are we done? Oh, we're not even close. 
Now it's time to accessorize, all right? Before we do that though, let's jump over, look at the suit I typically wear, get a couple of good pics of that, then we're gonna talk about some accessories. The reason I say I wear this most often is for one big reason. If we've got a costume that it looks like we throw this on every morning to go to work, well, it's no longer a costume. Now it's authentic. That's what we're looking for, all right? So with this suit, I've gone all out. 20 to 22 ounce leather for the majority of the suit, 14 to 15 ounce for the main body. Now I've got some good padding in the shoulders and I've got an arming gamut on that I wear under it. But overall, it's about 42 pounds. That's heavy. Well, all told, it's not bad. Moves extremely well. It's worn in. Now I can wear that for about eight hours on a hot day. After eight hours, I'm hot and irritable. But before that, it looks really good. All right, here's three picks gonna give us, give us a little more of a view, all right? So first pick, there's the full suit on. Notice the boots, right? We've, we've talked about that. But also two, two picks there, gonna show us some of the tooling detail. Now that is just simple silhouette tooling. Super easy to do. I need a swivel, a bevel, and a backgrounder. And it's easy to paint as well. So we don't need to go all out with our tooling to make a suit look good. All right, let's do this. Let's jump over here and let's look at all the projects or all the additional projects a suit of armor creates. There are so many accessories here, I can't even get everything on my table. All right, let's start right here. How about this? Beautiful full length leather cloak. Boots, absolutely. Now boots are expensive, but all I've got here is a good comfortable pair of work boots and a pair of spats I made. Makes those look perfectly period, but comfortable. Pair of pants, knickers, in fact, with suspenders included. Drinking horn, what fine suit of armor doesn't look so much better with a drinking horn? All manner of necklaces, coifs, helms, headbands, Pou pouches right there. What night is there without a good pair of spurs? Baldrics, now we're just talking swords. Baldrics, frogs, scabbards, and in fact right here we've got a scabbard with a back hanger, and I've even covered my handle in leather. All kinds of options. The suit of armor is just the beginning. If you set off to make a suit of armor, you know what, I can guarantee you, it's gonna be one of the most rewarding, fun projects you will ever work on. And you know what, the fun almost never ends because of all the options that we can bolt on and every one of them is gonna make that suit look fantastic. I hope you've had fun with this because I certainly have. I could just keep going. But as always, thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.